Hello, everyone. It's Ezekiel Bruni here, and I'm still wearing my self-esteem boosting t-shirt for this video, for this next review. And today, we're talking about Fiverr, also known as the website that real designers have to compete with. Just kidding. There are a lot of very good designers on Fiverr, actually, at pretty much every price point. So uh, let's dive in and have a look at what they have in the world of logo design. And yeah, that is the, well, frankly, the first problem I've had with Fiverr. Uh, the fact that if you're on this kind of slow internet, Fiverr is very, it's a very heavy site to load and it takes a while. Very useful, but yeah, not slow internet friendly, I'm afraid. Oh well, let's jump straight into the logo design category, up under, in the sub menu under uh, graphics and design. They have this wizard that basically helps you narrow down designers based on what you want out of your logo. Oh well. I should mention that this is not like other uh, design communities. Well, for one, it's not just about design. On Fiverr, you can get just about anything you need done. Anyway, we're in the logo category now. We're looking at some of the cheaper options. And for the purposes of this review, uh, like I said, it's not like your other communities. Um, you can't run contests. So we can't just post a brief and have uh, you know, anywhere between 20 and 100 people come in and uh, give us logo ideas for free, uh, almost, you know, until you pick one. No. Uh, all these people are offering services for a price. You look at their work. You decide whether or not you like their work, and then you hire them. Now, as you can see, some of them offer, say, two initial concepts, and they will offer revisions before you accept, you know, before you accept like, the final version. This one comes with two revisions. This one package over here costs $65 and comes with four revisions. This package, at the time of this recording, costs $125 and comes with all the different kinds of photos, as well as stationary designs, in case you want to put your logo on stationary because, because snail mail, you know. And that's it. You browse, you find what you're looking for, uh, you hope, and you pay somebody to make what you want. But they have designers at just about every price point. Like I said, they have $5 designers, matching the name of Fiverr, and they have up to hundreds and thousands of dollars. Let's, um, but say, if you put your budget up to, let's go not to say $2,000, uh, let's put a minimum up there so we can actually see some of those higher prices. There we go. We've got budgets of up to $2,000 for a logo. Now, uh, some of the very good designers are absolutely worth that money, but if you're, pro if you're looking at, at this review, if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for something a little bit cheaper. <sighs> okay, I'm going to introduce you all to Baizu. It is a Chinese name that I'm told means something like White Tiger. Say hello, Baizu. Yes, he's wearing a dog collar because I am a cruel, <laughs> cruel man. Okay, bye, Baizu. Oh, sorry, buddy. He ran into my fan. Anyway. Yeah, for the purposes of this review, we have chosen... Gotta get rid of this cat here. We have chosen three different designers to ask for a logo. Right here we have EI8HTZ. If there's a pronunciation to be had there, I don't know what it is. We're getting his $5 plan, which comes with two initial concepts, one revision, logo transparency, high resolution, but no source or vector files. But if you take a look at his logos, they're fairly minimalist, but they look good. They're very, they look to be very high quality. So I'm excited to see what he comes up with for, and I really should have covered this earlier, Website Planet. We're looking for a new logo for our website here, so this is the one we've got now. And that's uh, sort of the logo they'll be working from. Uh, they don't have to use all of those concepts. They don't have to use a planet even. But that's what, what we're starting with. So we're interested, I'm interested to see what you can actually get for five, just five dollars. Now, over here we've chosen someone a little bit more expensive at the time of this recording. And he does very cartoony, mascot-focused logos. And I was actually really, really excited to, uh, to pick this guy because I want to see what a logo, a mascot-based logo for a website planet would look like. Are we going to get an alien? I kind of want an alien. Anyway, lastly, up at the higher end, we have chosen... Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention the name. Juan Charles. <laughs> up here at the higher end, we have chosen Anim Team. Anim Team? Anyway, two initial concepts. Two revisions, source file, logo transparency, high resolution, and vector files. No 3D mockup, no stationary designs, and no social media kit. But if we're going to see what these guys can do. Their logos do look mostly a bit minimalist, but... Oh, well, not all minimalist. That one's straight up pixel art. I, I really like it. Anyway, uh, again, I'm interested to see what this guy comes up with. So we're going to just go ahead and pay all of these guys. We're going to tell them all what we want. And in a few days, I'll be back with the same lighting, but a different shirt. And we'll see how they did. All right, be right back to the magic of Sony Vegas Fate to Black Transition. I'm back. Uh, two of our designers have delivered initial concepts, and I just wanted to uh, look at them both at the same time, catch my initial reaction, so I have not looked at these yet. Uh, I should also make a quick correction. Baihu does not mean White Tiger. Baihu is the name of a White Tiger that, um, that is in Chinese mythology. It means something like White Light. Anyway, moving on. So we've got our delivery from Juan Charles here. 
He says that he has made a planet of code with a color palette that contrasts very well and gives a more fresh and modern sensation with today. I'm guessing, yeah, generally today is what he's looking at. Let's have a look. Huh. That's an interesting concept. Intentionally low res, but interesting. I wonder if we can have a closer look. It's very simple, very simplistic. I do like that he didn't go with a solid color, but threw in a gradient to kind of vary the colors a bit. It's, um... Ooh, there's a source file here I can download. It might be slightly higher quality. Uh, that slow internet problem is kicking in again, so I'm just going to wait for that download to happen. Oh, there it is. Oh, never mind. Very smart of him putting watermarks on, ev watermarks on everything, uh, keeping it low res. Let's uh, have a look over here. Hmm. Hmm. It's not the route I would have gone. It's been a long time since anyone's intentionally used a magnifying glass in a low internet-based logo, I think. But I, I kind of like it. I mean, obviously, um, we publish articles and guides and reviews on pretty much everything related to getting your website up and started, but search engine optimization is kind of, ooh, hmm, no, I don't like that as much personally. But it's still cool. It's not, it's not bad. It's good. It's just, it's not my thing. That I like a little bit better, if I'm honest with you. But we asked for two revisions. We got two revisions. And so that's what we've got so far. This interesting little digital focus logo and the magnifying glass focus logo. And I'll be right back with the third one as soon as the initial concept is in. And after a few days, I'm back on Fiverr. Anim Team, has, or Anim Team, whichever, has at long last brought us their initial logo concepts. I mean, uh, we expected it to take this long, but still. Anyway, let's have a quick look at them. Alrighty, they've got this uh, very website themed website planet logo going. It's not an actual planet for a change, so it makes a nice, well, change. And it looks great in black and white. It's nice and simple, recognizable. But these other concepts are also pretty darn cool. Loving the, the Illustrator style touches there, you know, with the pen and the pencil. And lastly, they've got this, which honestly is just kind of our existing logo modified <laughs> with, with a couple of different lines, some dots, and the, uh, a mouse as a rocket, which is, I think is clever enough. Well, those were all three initial concepts from all three designers. Well, more than three concepts, really. Uh, and I think they were all pretty good, especially for the prices we were paying. Mind you, these are not the final product. The final revisions and final uh, versions will be in the full written review down below the video, so do check that out. Overall, I think Fiverr is a pretty solid option. As mentioned in the written review, I do like the business model. I like it quite a lot. And overall, it, you know, the features work as intended. It's not very hard to use. Uh, the designers do good work, and if you ask them for revisions, they sometimes do even better work. It's... Uh, Overall, I, I can't say it's a bad option, especially when you consider that there's literally a price point for every budget. <laughs> there are designers who will do things for $5. So if you need something done and you don't want to run a contest, you want to work with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, Fiverr is pretty much the way to go, I think. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope this review was educational, useful, and perhaps even fun. This is Ezekiel Green.